Alexander's Feast or The Power of Music, J. Dryden. We are shown the power of music through a tale of long ago and Alexander's Feast. With lyre and flute, Timotheus inspires the mighty warrior and us to rage to celebration, to love and slumber, and back to battle readiness. The power of Timotheus' music pales in comparison to Cynthia and the depths reached with the organ, but both are, of course, worthy of their place. Alexander's Feast, or the Power of Music. T'was at the royal feast for Persia won by Philip's warlike son, aloft in awful state the godlike hero sate on his imperial throne. His valiant peers were placed around, their brows with roses and myrtles bound, so should de desert in arms be crowned. The lovely Theus by his side sate like a blooming eastern bride, in flower of youth and beauty's pride, happy, happy, happy pair. None but the brave, none but the brave, none but the brave deserves the fair. Timotheus placed on high amid the tuneful choir, with flying fingers touch the lyre, the trembling notes ascend the sky and heavenly joys inspire. The song began from Jove, who left his blissful seats above, such is the power of mighty love. A dragon's fiery form belied the gods, sublime on radiant spires he rode, when he to fair Olympia pressed, and while he sought her snowy breast. Then round her slender waist he curled and stamped an image of himself, the sovereign of the world. The listening crowd admire the lofty sound, a present deity they shout around. A present deity, the vaulted roofs rebound. With ravished ears the monarch hears, assumes the god, affects to nod, and seems to shake the spheres. The praise of Bacchus then the sweet musician sung, of Bacchus ever fair and ever young. The jolly god in triumph comes, sound the trumpets beat the drums, flushed with a purple grace, he shows his honest face. Now give the hot boy's breath, he comes, he comes, Bacchus ever fair and young, drinking joys did first ordain, Bacchus blessings are a treasure, drinking is the soldier's pleasure. Rich the treasure, sweet the pleasure, sweet is pleasure after pain. Soothed with the sound, the king grew vain, fought all his battles o'er again, and thrice he routed all his foes, and thrice he slew the slain. The master saw the madness rise, his glowing cheeks, his ardent eyes, and while he heaven and earth defied, changed his hand and checked his pride, he chose a mournful muse soft pity to infuse. He sung Darius great and good, by too severe a fate, fallen, 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 fallen from his high estate. And weltering in his blood, deserted at his utmost need by those his formal, formal bounty fed, on the bare earth exposed he lies, with not a friend to close his eyes. With downcast looks the joyless victor sate, revolving in his altered soul, the various turns of chance below, and now and then a sigh he stole, and tears began to flow. The mighty master smiled to see that love was in the next degree, t'was but a kindred sound to move, for pity melts the mind to love. Softly sweet in Lydian measure, soon he soothed his soul to pleasures. War he sung his toil and trouble, honor but an empty bubble, never ending, still beginning, fighting still and still destroying. If the world be worth thy winning, think, oh, think it worth enjoying. Lovely Thea sits beside thee, take the good the gods provide thee. The many rend the skies with loud applause, so love was crowned, but music won the cause. The prince, unable to conceal his pain, gazed on the fair who caused his care, and sighed and looked, sighed and looked, sighed and looked, and sighed again. 
At length, with love and wine at once oppressed, the vanquished victor sunk upon her breast. Now, strike the golden lyre again a louder, yet and yet a louder strain. Break his bands of sleep asunder, and rouse him like a rattling peal of thunder. Hark, hark, the horrid sound has raised up his head. As awake from the dead and amazed he stares around, Revenge, revenge, to Methius cries, See the furies arise, See the snakes that they rear, How they hiss in their hair, And the sparkles that flash from their eyes, Behold a ghastly band, Each a torch in his hand. Those are Grecian ghosts that in battle were slain, And unburied remain inglorious on the plain. Give the vengeance due to the valiant crew. Behold how they toss their torches on high, how they point to the Persian abodes and glittering temples of their hostile gods. The princes applaud with a furious joy, and the king seized a flambeau with zeal to destroy. Theus led the way to light him to his prey, and like another Helen fired another Troy. Thus long ago, ere heaving bellows learned to blow, all organs yet were mute, Timotheus to his breathing flute and sounding lyre could swell the soul to rage or kindle soft desire. At last divine Cecilia came, inventress of the vocal frame, the sweet enthusiast from her sacred store, enlarged the former narrow bounds and added length to solemn sounds. With nature's mother wit and arts unknown before, let old Timotheus yield the prize, or both divide the crown. He raised a mortal to the skies, she drew an angel down.